Hello everyone, welcome back to Grimm's Garage, and today we're taking a look at the Ghostbusters collectible bundle from Culturefly. Well, Culturefly seems to put together collectible sets, affordable collectible sets that are kind of like uh, loot crates, or loot boxes, mystery boxes, but you straight up see and know everything you're getting. Sometimes it's on a cheaper line, or on the cheaper end the items themselves but for the price you're getting it's understandable and uh i think i'm gonna be quite pleased with all this i'm a huge ghostbusters fan really just looking forward to the light and the patches and the hats a nice touch blanket and popcorn bucket will be extra i know what to expect from the quality of those items so we're going to take a look about this in just a moment sure we got uh Plenty of nice box art here, but we want to see what is inside. Now, I got this at my local Walmart. I think they've been around for about a month. The Ghostbusters fan pages I follow on Facebook have been going crazy with people finding these. And I've been so upset I haven't been able to find one. Finally got one here tonight, uh, recording February 15th, to be honest. And look, first thing out of the box seems to be the hat. And I am very pleased. This is a high quality hat. Very, very nice. I'm not a hat guy, so I don't care about proper brands and having a foil sticker on it or anything. But um, build quality. This is quality hat. Very nice. Very nice quality hat. I'd have to say the only thing for me, yeah, I'd end up bending it. I'm a curved brim guy, but um, really wish it was a shorter brim. I'm a shorter, like, cadet hat style guy. That's usually what I wear. Next up we have some Do Not Eat Moisture Pack. Iron on patch set. No. You still kind of if you if you can you still want to use actual stitching as well if you're going to apply some st some patches here very very cool very awesome the only thing that's a little disappointment it doesn't the package does not say it has one but the fact that they have a patch picture of the logo here, kind of wishes, kind of wish they put in no ghost logo patch as well. That is quite cool. So we got a blanket wadded in here. Okay, take a look at that in a moment. It's quite big. What is this? Oh, it's a free rent-a-movie from Fandango. Go look at our popcorn bucket. Yeah, quite uh, it's a flimsy plastic, something you get at the dollar store, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, what would you expect? It's a popcorn bucket. Which, by the way, the new film, when it hits theaters, all theaters have some merchandise. Uh, one merchandise line has a big slimer popcorn bucket and a metal tin bucket. I kind of want the metal tin bucket. It reminds me of a uh, 80s trash bin from, uh, you know, Jay-Z Penny or Sears catalog. They put He-Man or My Little Pony on the tin cans or even the, or even the um, toy trunks that go on the end of your bed. You guys remember those? Anyway. Here's our light. It's one-sided. It says remove film. And I said they gave you an edge. It's not coming off. I'm just scratching bits of it off. Oh, there we go. This will be satisfying.
Oh. the LED light. Let's see how that's the power button. Oh, it does have a USB. I thought I'd have to use batteries forever because the package does say it required three batteries. So I grabbed some here. But it's nice to see it does take USB. Fortunately, it is USB type B old style. But there we go. Let's get this uh, box out of the way. And actually, why don't we uh, turn some of these lights down so we can get a look? We'll look at this. Turn some of the lights off. It does come across quite bright. Of course, the light shoots off the side, so if you put it in a corner or something, it's going to shine against the walls. But yeah, pretty cool. It's, touch sensitive power pretty nice it's definitely gonna look cool in a collectible room absolutely Get some lights back on here and with that we're gonna take a look at this blanket and as expected it is just like that one ply really soft stuff but uh, and I literally have like 20 of these blankets laying around the house from my wife and kids. I mean, whether they're from franchises or whatever. Some of them have wolves on them. Some of them have movies, TV shows. These blankets are all over the house. But this is the first one I could say is actually mine. I personally never cared for them. I'm sorry, it's quite large to show the whole thing. But you've seen it on the package. So here's some bits of detail. It's quite soft, like I said before. I mean, it's not going to cover much. It's just a little Netflix and chill blanket. But still very cozy. My cats love these. So we keep them in piles around the house. They're real soft for them to make biscuits with. But with that, thank you for joining me today. I hope you join me again soon. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a very good night.